it, it was brilliant, absolutely. Uh, we saw the shades of the, uh, the, with the wicket, uh, you know, the wicket shade of yours. And here, you've actually taken it to the next level. What was the experience like? Thanks. Uh, to answer your first question, I really believe that no one is all bad or all good. I like to play characters as if there are shades of bad and good and good and bad. And that's really what attracted me to, to this role. When Mardani is a picture and you have audience or critics' ka appreci ki appreciation, milti hai, so like everyone is using the phrase, uh, the next step, the big game. It's important to pick a project um, that ups it in, in terms of everything, in terms of the script, the story, uh, the action, and forced to checked all those uh, boxes for me. It was um, a bigger project. It had uh, the opportunity to act, and that's why I took it on. And just to add to where John left off to say that, you know, he's liked what I've done, I would just like to say that I was only doing my second film, and an actor's performance really depends on how he's treated on set and, uh, you know, how he's dealt with. And I was dealt with no less than uh, the other stars who are sitting, and I felt like I'm doing my 25th film. So a lot of the confidence that comes is thanks to the people you're seeing um, sitting on stage. It wouldn't have been possible without Absolutely that. special. This is incredible. Also, also, I'd like to add that Tahir played the leading man of the set in Budapest. <laughs> that is true. For that, we have to have a press conference in Oh, house. we'll have a separate one for that. Se se separate conference, <laughs> not, not in front of them. Well, well. Avina must be having a lot of stories. It must be quite an experience for us with John. And, you know, you've, you've done big screen, uh, big cinema, as in uh, you've done cinema, you've done television as well with 24. Now, what was the experience? How different was this? And uh, with a star cast like John, Sonakshi, was it difficult or was it, you must be having a lot of stories. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, why difficult, correct? Yeah, they're very, very nice people. They're not <laughs> difficult people at all to work with. And no, but yes, it was, it's, a, it's a dream to get a film to work with a cast like this, who's dedicated, who actually do not, uh, you know, uh, hold back in whether, whether it's action, whether it's emotion, whether whatever the thing is, whether it's late hours, whatever it is, they have been incredible as a cast and uh, the whole team, really. Um, and for me, what is amazing is, as you asked me, whether what is the difference between shooting, doing television and uh, features? I mean, at the end of the day, it's storytelling. Uh, that's how I treat it. And uh, if it's storytelling, uh, it should be the same. There wouldn't be any difference, really. Uh, as far as this film is concerned, what really was amazing for all of us uh, was we worked as a team. We worked as one unit and we got each other's back, you know? And uh, for a film of this kind, where there is, uh, we are trying to at every single possible, in every possible way, try to up the game, um, uh, we actually did that together. Whether it's starting from Vipul as a producer, John as a producer, and an actor, Sonakshi, Tahir, Viacom as a partner, Ajit, all of us really uh, just held each other's hand through it and made it something Quite special, I think. I believe it's it's gone beyond our all, all our expectations, really. Absolutely, just like a dream team. But just a just a thought. Um, you must have visualized uh, one year back before the project started that you know it's going to turn out this way. Has it turned out that way? Better, much better. Yeah, because I think you know when we sit on uh, on piece of paper, when I sat with uh, the writer with uh, with Parvez and Jasmeet, when we were going through it at that point of time, there was a certain uh, feel that we had. You know, and I'm a gut guy, so I, keep, I kept feeling that, okay, this is the right thing to do, this is the right thing to do. Today, when we finished shooting and we are almost done with the edit of the film, I'm seeing it and I'm saying, all right, this is what we set out to do? Wow. Okay, that's great. That's, that's fun. So, yeah, I think the expectations, it's gone a little beyond. That. Absolutely fantastic. John, force one, the bike. Force two, the car. Force three, what will <laughs> Let's uh, concentrate on force two. Um, I like lifting things, so. <laughs> Pun intended. I'm a, I'm a pickup truck, so I, I like lifting things. But uh, just to uh, add here, I've, uh, uh, I've been a fan of uh, Sonakshi's. I've been a very big fan of uh, Abhinay uh, since uh, a long time. And uh, I think we met Abhinay before force even happened. And I wanted to meet him, and I chatted with him, and I said, uh, Will we, can we work together? And he said, yeah. And that was it. <laughs> and he left on his motorcycle, and I like him because he rides a motorcycle also. Ah. So, 
So we really hit it off, and um, I think honestly, the entire energy on this film, and uh, barring a few, you know, uh, goof ups, uh, you know, barring very few, probably one or two, the energy is honestly been very positive, and I think when it's very positive on a set, uh, we hope that the outcome is also very positive. So now, actually, final question: yes. uh, Do you want to do any stunt? which you possibly missed out. Is there something you missed out which you want to do it again? Absolutely not. I think I got uh, to do a lot more than I expected to do in this film. Uh, it's uh, like everybody's been saying, bigger, better. And uh, I, I have absolutely no complaints. Usually I would be like, in fact, John was saying the other day that there was this uh, action sequence where I was not supposed to be as involved uh, in the... Yeah, in, in, in the scene, I was supposed to be on the side protecting somebody, but uh, when he saw the trailer for Akira, that's when we were shooting it, he said, no, make her do the action uh, in this scene as well. So honestly, I got a lot more that I could ask for, and I'm so happy with the way that it's turned out. Fantastic. All right, there you are, ladies and gentlemen, the star cast and the dream team of Force 2, Ekbar Zorda, Talia Kamari, everybody. Let's give a big cheer for them. A lot of hard work and turned out really nice. Now, it's, uh, it's time for you to ask the questions. If you've got a question, please, apna hand upar kare. And um, I want you to uh, make the question. John here, towards uh, your left. John. Hello. Okay, let's go one by one, all right? Uh, sir, um, aap question puchhe, sir. Ha, ha, John, sir. Or Sonakshi, ma'am. Sonakshi, Sonakshi. Oh, Sonakshi, ma'am. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay. I am Bollywood Web TV from USA. Oh. Wow. So, abhi jo Achha, USA, ma'am, I'm Minakshi. Arre, wow, good, good. So, good one. ना सर बॉलीवुड वेब टीवी से मैं और यूएसए फैन की तरफ से आपको इस फिल्म के लिए बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं और हिट होने के लिए बहुत बहुत हिट होए आपकी फिल्म और और आपसे मैं ये कहना सर मैं आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछता हूँ आप हम मैम से भी और आपसे भी आपने इस हर फिल्म में एक्शन तो किया ही है और अभी भी � how much is it going to be in this kind of action? I asked a good question. During this film, when you saw a sequence that you saw on the rooftop, my knee was damaged. After that, we were shooting in Hungary. We had two knee operations. I remember when I was sitting in the car, Vipul Ji actually used to lift my leg and put it in the car, because I couldn't hit it at that time. And I had another operation to come to Mumbai, so I had three knee surgeries. But I think, by the end of it, I think the result was good for the knee also and for the film also. So, everything was fine. But in action, there is a lot of problems, but it's fun. John, you're towards your left. In force, we saw you lifting the bike and now we see you lifting the car. I remember during one of the promotional events, we had even picked bike, you know. Uh, are there any such plans for Force 2? And uh, is it a conscious decision on your part to, uh, you know, include at least one such heavy scene in the movie? I think Force is about power. And uh, I think it was um, Abhinay and Ripple's decision to uh, continue, uh, you know, the, the character of uh, ACP Yashwardhan. And it was uh, the way they set the, is it, honestly, it was the way Abhinay set the entire scene up. Uh, the only input I had in uh, lifting the car was how my posture looked, <laughs> you know, very honestly. So I give credit to him for, for really doing this. But I think it's important that force stands for certain things. And I think what, um, uh, what Abhinay has done very smartly in this film is not only has he got out the, the power element, but this film also has um, a fantastic story. When you see the trailer, it says uh, dedicated to the heroes who lost their lives. And uh, that's something we discussed. Uh, this is based actually on, if I may say so, Vipul, this is actually based on true events. So by the end of the film, you'll be shocked. So it's a lot, we've been inspired by a lot of true events that we've put together. So there's a lot of credibility in the story. So I think, yes, to answer your question, uh, it's great to show ACP Yashwadan very powerful, but it's also important to have a good story. Do we see you lifting the car, John? John? Do 
जी वी वेरी प्राउड इनफैक्ट ये बहुत पहले करना चाहिए था हमें एल uh, की बात कर रहे हो आप जो वो जो स्पेसिफिक टारगेटेड ये हुआ आई थिंक इट वॉज इट्स हाई टाइम वी रिस्पॉन्ड टू टेररिज्म वी एज अ कंट्री हम लोग बहुत ही टॉलरेंट है एंड आई थिंक इट्स हाई टाइम वी पुटा फुट डाउन एंड वी शो वॉट इंडिया कैन डू हाई जॉन जॉन टू जी आई आई एम इन कम्प्लीट अग्रीमेंट विद जॉन we'll talk about force too sir yeah. force hi john yeah. john and over here uh, you know the f- opening slide of the film says that it is dedicated to unsung hero so what was the thought process in adding the uh, slide in the trailer to both of you the idea behind that was that uh, when we began the story itself we were um, the story is about as john said rightfully it's about uh, our idea itself started from trying to give um, a standing ovation of a kind mm. to the people who really spend their entire lives sometimes give their entire lives in protecting us and our lives so there are many such people so it's not about a story of one person it's a story of um, you know many of such lives which have been lost by this country and we are trying to just give them from our side a little bit of a, a you know a standing ovation that's why the slightest